Hello and welcome to the No tutorial on my channel. In this video I want to show you how you can code your own Minecraft plugin for Spigot servers. To get started you must download two things. The first thing is the JDK Java Development Kit. It is necessary to code things in Java. I will have a link for that in the description. Then you also need an IDE. In this case we want to pick IntelliJ IDE. I will also have a link in the description for that. Now once you have downloaded this, open up IntelliJ, go to plugins, type Minecraft and install the Minecraft development plugin. You might have to restart your IDE after this and if you are ready again, go to projects, new project, pick Spigot, select the JDK version you downloaded, hit next group ID if you own any domain you can use your domain whatever I don't have a domain so I'm gonna use me dot my name dot the project name so my first plugin and artifact ID is my first plugin you can leave the version like it is here select maven description you can give a description if you want to it's not necessary this is the description Whoops, the description. Okay, authors, Lord Polter, it's my Minecraft in game name. You can pick your Minecraft in game name. If you have a website, paste it here and leave all the other things blank. Of course, select the version you want your plugin to be in. Um, then finally, the project name, my first plugin, and hit create. Now it has fully loaded in and you can minimize this little maven window in the top right corner. We won't need it. You can also close these messages. And now we have our core class, my first plugin. And in that class we have two methods. The first method on enable gets executed when the plugin starts and the other method on disable gets executed when the plugin stops. We won't need the on disable method so just delete it uh, yeah we will need this later but now go to source main java your artifact id right click it new package call it listeners right click the package new java class this will have another icon in your version because i have a material theme which changes the icon it will have this symbol in your version. It's a Java logo. So just call this damage listener because we want to make a plugin which writes something in chat if a player gets damaged. That's uh, why we call this damage listener. Write implements, implements listener. Make sure you import the right thing from bucket. Hit tab and make add event event handler also imported from bucket red public void and then on entity damage you can call it as you like to call it but it's it makes sense if you call it on and then what it does because we want to look after entity damage and then red entity damage event that's what we want call it e or event i'm gonna call mine e make these braces and now we want to get the entity so we write entity not imported from java swing whatever imported from bucket entity equals e dot get entity now we have the entity which got the damage but we want to send the player a message and the entity is not a player for now so we have to convert it to a player object we do it like this player player equals and then player entity right now we converted it to entity if it gets underlined red you have to import it just hit just select the player and hit alt plus enter and it imports it 
now we want to send the player a message so player dot and now you can see you can do lots of things here you can do literally everything but we want to send the player a message and we just say you just got damaged yeah now we have to register our event because it won't work like this we go in our on enable method okay and then we write get server dot get plugin manager dot register events okay it's the plural events with an s not event or the other event it's events register events and then new and how we call our class damage listener and we have to set our plugin and it's this plugin pretty simple right now we are ready and our project is finished so let's hit this little play button in the top right corner and wait for it to compile all right it's finished now you can minimize this again and then go to the target folder um, and right click your plugin file open in explorer now it's it's opened in explorer and you have your plugin file which you can upload to your server all right i have just uploaded my plugin file to my server and now joined the server and let's see if it works so i'm just gonna jump out this little cliff here to get some damage wait that wasn't high enough oh no i am in creative mode all right let's do it again and yes you got damage it works that's nice yeah that was about it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned a little bit from it and if you want me to make some more complex plugins or, or have another plugin idea or something let me know in the comments and like the video subscribe to the channel and yeah have a good day bye